the Grand Army of the Republic is infamous for being kind of confusing. We've touched on it a lot lately, but fiction writers don't understand how a galaxy-spanning army could or should work. The roughly 3.2 million clones confirmed to have been made in Attack of the Clones and the Clone Wars is a very low number. Then there's the case of the battalions, legions, and corps being kinda all over the place in terms of scale and usage. But one aspect of the clone army that actually kinda makes sense is its ranking system. The way clones moved up as they won battles, gained experience, and showed leadership qualities. When wearing Phase 1 armor at the beginning of the war, ranks were easily identifiable by the colored markings on a trooper's armor. As the Clone Wars progressed, colors more reflected unit affiliation as troopers had more freedom to customize their kits. Today, we'll cover both phases as we take a deep dive into the hierarchy of the clone troopers and bring you every single clone trooper rank explained. We begin with the Clone Cadet. This was the lowest rank within the Grand Army of the Republic, reserved for clones still in training on Kamino. This included juvenile cadets who were given an intense rapid education. This form of training required the use of focus-enhancing helmets. They were also divided into separate teams as a means of encouraging teamwork and competitiveness among their ranks. At this stage in their training, cadets were supervised by Kaminoan scientists and sometimes fully grown clone troopers who held the military rank of clone sergeant. The older clone cadets were overseen by hired mercenaries, ARC troopers, and Jedi as they underwent rigorous combat simulations and tests. In these simulations, clone cadets utilized a type of training armor and see-through helmet that was different from the gear worn by fully trained clone troopers. The cadets' armor also included color-coded pauldrons and gauntlets, such as the green ones worn by Domino Squad. Failed clones were reassigned to non-combat roles, such as maintenance duty, but squads of clone cadets who passed the final test, known as the Citadel, would join their brothers on the front lines. Clone Private Clone Private, or often just referred to as Clone Trooper, was the lowest military rank held by the men of the Grand Army of the Republic. One of the more well-known Clone Privates would be Dogma of the 501st Legion. As the lowest rank, Clone Privates formed the backbone of the army and were the most common. Their armor was often just plain white, but later in the war was often customized with the coloration of their unit, whether it be blue for the 501st, orange in the 212th, or gray for those of the 104th. Clone privates would be organized into squads of nine troopers, often those that they trained with from a young age. Clone Corporal The second lowest rank a clone trooper could hold was that of Clone Corporal. One such corporal was Comet of the 104th Battalion. A clone corporal served as the second in command of a squad, they would likely take command in the scenario where their superior was killed, or if the squad had to divide into two smaller teams to complete a given objective. Clone Sergeant Their rank above the Clone Corporal was the Clone Sergeant. A few notable Clone Sergeants include Hunter of the Bad Batch, Apo of the 501st Legion during the Umbara Campaign, and Sinker of the 104th Battalion. Clone Sergeants led the squads consisting of eight Clone Privates and one Clone Corporal. During the time of Phase 1 armor, Clone Sergeants were distinguishable by their armor with olive green markings. Clone Lieutenant Clone Trooper Lieutenants commanded platoons of 36 troopers, or four squads, and were also referred to as platoon leaders. Popular Clone Troopers which held the rank of Lieutenant include Waxer of the 212th, Thire of the Coruscant Guard, and Jesse of the 501st. In the early days of the war, Lieutenant's Phase 1 armor had blue markings, not to be confused by the blue markings later worn by the entirety of the 501st Legion. The rank of Second Lieutenant could also be bestowed to a Clone Sergeant, acting as a second in command to the First Lieutenant. Clone Captain the rank of Clone Captain was held by troopers who commanded Clone Trooper companies of 144 troops, which were divided into four separate platoons. The most famous captain was of course Captain Rex in the 501st. Other notable Clone Captains include Hauser, Vaughn, and Keeley. When wearing Phase 1 armor, Clone Captains were identified by the maroon markings on their armor. Clone Major 
Full disclosure, this is the least defined role in the clone army, having first been mentioned in the 2018 Star Wars Complete Vehicles reference book. Clone majors were able to serve in juggernaut tanks, perhaps in charge of one or a convoy of these massive vehicles. In Legends, majors were said to be closer in role to captains, even wearing the same maroon-striped Phase One armor. Clone Commander the rank of Clone Commander was the second highest achievable rank for a clone in the GAR. Notable commanders include Wolf, Pons, and Gree. Some others you may be thinking of actually held an even higher rank, which we'll get to momentarily. Commanders were in charge of regiments of 2,304 clone troopers. Initially, clone commanders were outfitted with yellow-striped Phase 1 armor. Later, as with other clone officers, commanders customized their armor with additional equipment. This often included commas, pauldrons, rangefinders, communication antennas, visors, jetpacks, pistol holders, macro binoculars, bandoliers, insignia plaques, built-in lights, unit affiliation markings, and so much more. Clone commanders of the Republic military received additional training from ARC troopers, which taught them to think more independently and be more creative, on top of how to work with their Jedi generals and subordinate troopers. In Legends, clone commanders were further categorized by a few ranks. Firstly, battalion commanders, which was the lowest and was in command of a battalion of 661 clones. Second is the Regimental Commander, who commanded a regiment of 2,645 troopers. Then comes the Senior Commander, the second highest rank attainable by a clone trooper. Each was in command of a brigade or legion of over 10,000 clones. Clone Marshal Commander The rank of Clone Marshal Commander is the highest rank which can be bestowed upon a clone trooper. Notable Marshal Commanders include Cody, Bly, Bakara, Neo, and Fox. A martial commander was usually in command of a clone trooper corps, consisting of up to 169,300 total clone troopers alongside a Jedi general counterpart. For instance, Commander Cody was assigned martial commander of the 7th Sky Corps. The 7th had several subunits, including the 212th Attack Battalion. Martial commanders worked closely with their assigned Jedi generals to coordinate and organize their forces, often acting as a second-in-command. If a martial commander's general was killed in action, they would assume full command of their regiment until a new Jedi general was assigned. The first generation of clone martial commanders received special training on Kamino, just like the lower-ranked commanders. This included training in team management, tactics, and strategy, as well as the coordination of larger troop units. But that about does it in terms of ranks for the clone troopers. It's important to note that the Special Operations Brigade, which included units like the ARC Troopers and Clone Commandos, utilized their own unique ranking systems. Then there's also the Jedi who had Commanders, Generals, Senior Generals, and High Generals. Plus, we absolutely love to salute the other clone positions, like Deck, Communications, and Naval Officers, or even maintenance clones and quartermasters. But which clone trooper is your favorite? What topic relating to the Grand Army of the Republic would you like to see us cover next? Let us know in the comments. Come join us to chat more at our community Discord server linked in the description. If you enjoyed today's Star Wars video, we've got more on the screen for you right now. Also make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe to join the Red Squadron. Until next time, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. Red 5, standing by.